and welcome back. So my, I'm here with David and his jumper. Thank you, Alberto. I'm pleased <laughs> to be here, like, unlike anyone else from Epsom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so as Julia was saying, today is a Sister of Battle Day. Uh, who are the Sisters of Battle? So yes, it's Warhammer 40K's Sisters of Battle Day. So Sisters of Battle have been around Warhammer 40K for a long time, but recently they got a kind of a full faction treatment from the Games Workshop. They're kind of an elite sisterhood raised from birth to uh, serve their god emperor. And they're as zealous, zealous and fanatical as you might expect someone to be, that, to be kind of... They're elite troops, they run around wearing um, like space marine armor despite not being space marines, they wield bolted despite not being space marines. They are bad girls and they've come to fight. Sounds very appropriate for the Imperium. Yes, very much so. <laughs> <laughs> right, so today uh, the Sister of Battle are being added uh, as a playable faction to both Warhammer 40k Battle Sector and Warhammer 40k Gladius. Uh, let's start with Gladius. Uh, so, before I ask you to elaborate a bit more on the faction, uh, we do have a trailer, a gameplay trailer to show you that will introduce you to the new faction in Battle Sector. So, here we go, let's watch the first trailer. Deep in the purest and most holy of Imperium's cathedrals, those dedicated only to the worship of the Emperor train their spirit arduously for the task ahead. An elite sisterhood of warriors, they step forth from the confines of their churches to do his will. No lesser for the time spent to the task of ridding the galaxy of the alien, the mutant and the heretic. Warhammer 40,000 Battle Sector is expanding its epic turn-based action with the Adeptus Sororitas DLC. Included in the DLC are 15 new, exquisitely crafted units with lore-accurate models, directly inspired by the official tabletop models. The units also come with their own special abilities and war gear, and are primed and ready for battle in skirmish, multiplayer, planetary supremacy, and the new Daemonic Incursion mode. The Sisters of Battle bring a whole new dimension to the battle for Baal as damage charges special abilities, damage resistance and HQ powers. Combined with potent healing options, especially tough units designed to soak up damage and the ability to shield more fragile units, the Sisters of Battle have a unique and interesting synergy unlike that of any other faction. Okay. Yes. Um, before we get deeper into the faction, uh, well, we can see the chat, but I can imagine there are quite a few questions about your jumper. Where well, did you get it? It's Christmas. You, you keep <laughs> inviting me here on Christmas. Last time I had to stay in Milan and wear a Necron jumper. Yeah. This time, uh, the wonderful people at Games Workshop and Merchroid were so inspired to send me this. So who am I to say no? Unfortunately, people can sit in the camera, but there are a lot of tiny warmerish skulls oh, below the Sister Battle symbol. See. Wonderful. Yeah. I will wear it every day for Christmas. <laughs> All right, so I believe that our community manager can post the link to the store uh, if you want to get this same jumper. Or our elders, yes. yes. <laughs> well, anyway, um, what can you tell us about the Adeptus Sororitas, also known as Sisters of Battle, in Battle Sector? So, in Battle Sector, they're kind of sent in to be the uh, mirror to the uh, Blood Angels. So, the Blood Angels, which is all about going out there, attacking you, punching you in the face, getting very angry about things. Sisters are about taking those hits and getting very zealous about things. Uh, so they'll take hits, they'll get more evasive and get harder to hit as they take hits. So if you don't get them down quickly, they keep coming back and keep coming back hard. Um, a lot of their skills are based around inspiring their fellow sisters. They might get um, more hits than you expect coming from the same place. They have artillery, they have tanks, they have rhinos, the first actual dedicated transport unit that we've seen in Battle Sector. So um, a real mobility powerhouse. They can bring the pain from all sorts of angles. Speaking of units, um, many months ago we had that did three sister bottle units originally. Uh, yep. We decided to expand these units with more, well, you know, in a brand, uh, in a complete mm -hmm. playable faction. We do have uh, two trailers to show you to get deeper into some of the cool new units coming with the DLC. So let's have a look at the first one. The Sisters of Battle on Baal call for aid, and who better to lead them but the mighty Canoness, a veteran warrior of countless battles, yet also a pious leader with an unmatched sense of faith. The Canoness's mere presence boosts the morale of nearby sisters, 
Her words of contempt ring in the enemy's ears, shattering their confidence. Ready to give their lives to protect her, Celestian Sacrosants have sworn an oath to defend their sisters. Their mighty Sacrosant shields turns aside ranged fire as surely as it turns aside a blade, with each hit only increasing their resolve to defend the line. Returning the enemy's hate in kind, the deadly exorcist fires massive volleys of deadly missiles. The artillerist plays to soothe and invigorate the mighty machine spirit with potent worship that seemingly guides missiles to weak points and critical areas. When the time comes to strike, the Paragon Warsuit wades into the enemy lines. A warsuit as weighty as any tank, there is nothing it cannot carve with the blessed Paragon Warblade. Yet such a mighty weapon may be wasted on hordes of the unworthy. The Paragon Grenade Launcher is the answer, enabling the Paragon to lay waste to such hordes with ease. Well, yeah. I really like the work that Black Lab Gaming has put into these models. They really look amazing. Uh, there are some amazing screenshots that you can find on the store page, and they really did a great job. I think, well, I'm a bit biased, but I think, <laughs> the, I think they're the best Warhammer 40k models ever made for a computer game, to be honest. Um, but yeah, shall we move on to the second trailer? Yep. A sister's duty is foremost to the Emperor, but also to his subjects. No sister understands this better than the Hospitaller. Her presence is a welcome sight as she tends to the sick and injured, returning them to battle to continue to fight in his name. The Adapter Sororitas is an order of mercy, and those that sin may atone for their crimes as an arco-flagellant. Armed with arco flails and with a potent mixture of combat stimulants flowing through their veins, they tear the enemies of the Imperium asunder in an incomprehensibly violent melee frenzy. Should a sister commit sin, she may be offered the chance to take the oath of Repentia. Her war gear, rank, and honor stripped from her, she may seek atonement only through the deaths of his enemies. Each granted a penitent inviscerator, they make devastating, fearless charges into the enemy. Not all those who sin are worthy of forgiveness. For those whom justice must be given swiftly, the pure flame of an immolator will more than suffice. Its blessed twin flamers cleanse the battlefield while protecting a squad of sisters inside its thick, ornately armored hull. Well, yep. so personally speaking, I really like the new vehicles, most of all. I was wondering, what is your favorite unit from the DLC? Um, it's a choice, really. The, ex <laughs> the Exorcist missile launcher is just a whole new realm of hurt. Um, but personally, the Canoness. Just she, she is a HQ that gets in there, mixes it up, brings everybody with her. And importantly, if she gets sniped, everyone else gets better because they get quite angry about it. So what more could you want? Makes sense. All right, so um, this is the new DLC, but there is an update going up along the DLC. Yep. Uh, and it adds, of course, the demonic incursion mode. Um, what can you tell us about it? Yes, yeah, so um, later on today, in a couple of hours' time, the release will go out. And as a kind of a free update, uh, you'll be able to play a whole new game mode with any of your factions that you own, so either Blood Angels, Tyranids, Necrons, or Assisted Battle, um, where you can choose to take on innumerable hordes of the Demons of Corn. Um, it's a, basically a survival uh, wave-based game mode. Uh, so you're basically going in there with whatever army you choose. Um, you can take a small army, a small uh, kill team, or you can take a 3,000 point um, horde of tanks. It's up to you. Um, the simple job is to survive. Uh, can you basically, how long can you last against innumerable waves of core night demons of, um, if you've got blood letters and you've seen uh, whole new things we've added of things like school cannons and uh, all these kind of things, all coming at you from every direction. And uh, can you, you get reinforcements, but will there be enough? Well, I'm seeing something new on the screen mm. uh, because uh, that wasn't in the game. No, you'll, you'll, you'll obviously pick the school calendar for all hands and the blood letters at the beginning, but right in the background there is our wonderful bloodthirster. Yes. Who, will, who, who doesn't turn up straight at the beginning, but when he does turn up, oh, you're yeah. in for a world of pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> I, I can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we can't wait to see what you guys think about this new update, okay. as well as the 
sister to both of these in both sector. Uh, shall we move on and talk about Gladius? A bit? Yeah, sure. All right. Yeah. So uh, Gladius is also getting a new DC, and they're also getting the Adepta Sororitas as a playable faction. Uh, for anyone who is uh, familiar with Gladius, uh, each faction comes uh, with their own uh, unique units, uh, tech tree, uh, set of buildings, uh, uh, unique quest lines and heroes, um, and of course, unique gameplay mechanics. Yep. But what can you tell us about the Sisters of Battle and what kind of new features do they bring to the table? Because Gladius has been around for a few years and there are already quite a few playable factions. So how are the Sisters of Battle or Adeptas Sororitas different compared to the other playable factions? Well, I said they are the Sisters of Battle. They are built around faith. Um, they are, but like I said, Gladius is a 4X and they, uh, they are, their uh, mechanics are kind of on that 4X scale of each unit can perform small acts of faith, uh, which then if buffed with um, the kind of support units can perform bigger acts of faith. Um, they can. They have a wonderful quest line about, obviously, suppressing heresy. It's very Gladius is very much their sort of town. It's what they were very much brought here to do. And of course, when they start rolling out uh, tanks and also night lancers and uh, uh, strike fighters, they really can bring a whole world of hurt. That sounds great. Mm. I'm looking forward to playing them. Uh, so before we finish the presentation for Battle Sector and Gladius, we wanted to show you the new faction the new intro video for the Adeptus Aurora in Gladys. So, here we go. Life is worthless without faith. Faith in the God Emperor. Faith that he will save mankind. The Adeptus Sororitas are the guardians of that faith. These people were our people. And when the world was lost, when the cities fell, we defended them from the Xenos, the heretics. But soon, we stood against the dark, alone. Others would have lost hope, but not the Adeptus Aroritas. And finally, our faith was rewarded with the blessed Celestine at our head. We will save these people for the God Emperor! So these are the Sisters Battle in Battle Sector and Gladius. Yep. All right, so thank you so much, David, uh, right. and I hope uh, it was a really nice time for you. Yeah, obviously, if they're available late today, please hope people enjoy playing them. Thank you so much. <laughs>